Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. The person on your mind. Please know um, that this is going to be about someone that you know, okay, that's on your mind. You're thinking about this person. Now, before we start, everything about my channel is in the description box. Uh, information on personal readings if you'd like a personal reading information on how to enter for a free personal reading and then lastly there will be an extended reading link below in the description box if this reading resonates with you, you can check it out I will look at the next uh, three to four weeks energy and I treat it like a personal reading and whatever shows up in the energy whether it's new love uh, person on your mind um, I will also uh, dig deeper into your person, treat it like a personal reading, and I will also look at your future love, like who that may be. So with that, Taurus, let's get started here with your reading. I'm going to pull your energy, your person's energy, the mutual energy. We'll clarify what's needed. We'll get some oracles, and then we'll do the potential outcome of the situation. So with that, let's get started here. Please show, show me Taurus's energy here. Please show Taurus what is in their energy. Okay, let's get to your person's energy. What's in Taurus's person's energy? Okay, oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Two of Cups energy. All right, so let's start uh, with your energy here, Taurus. We have the Four of Wands with the Star card. So I feel like this person on your mind, Taurus, is somebody that uh, you see potential, you, see, you have hope. I feel here uh, that the two of you could be happy together, be in a relationship, maybe even a commitment for the long term here, could be dealing with an Aquarius. So I do feel um, definitely in your energy, there is hope here, right, for a relationship, whether that's with you, okay, your hope, you know, having faith maybe uh, wishing that this could happen. We have the High Priestess and we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're feeling unstable here about the situation, okay? So it feels like there's some unknowns here. You may be questioning things. Um, also to you may be weighing your options here, okay? Because it does feel like things are feeling a bit unstable. So we're gonna clarify, we'll see what that is about. Um, in the energy now it could be you could be dealing with someone maybe feeling like <clears throat> they're not giving you a whole lot of clarity you know maybe this is someone who goes back and forth maybe one minute they tell you they want a relationship and maybe the next right they don't show it or their actions don't show it all right let's look in your person's energy so you have the full card and you have the queen of wands so I feel like you've got someone who's kind of a bit carefree. Maybe they're not taking things seriously, I get. This could be someone who, <coughs> excuse me, who has been single for a while, or maybe they act like they are single here. It does feel like, though, with this Queen of Wands, there may be some sort of action that they are going to take. We're going to see what that is about. We also have here the Sun card. Definitely got Fire Energy, Aries, Strong Leo, Sagittarius uh, Energy. But you have the Three of Wands and you have the Sun card here. Okay, so I feel like Taurus, your person sees a lot of potential here with you. Maybe some of you, this is a newer situation. Um, we'll see when we clarify. But I do feel like this person is thinking about the future. This could be somebody, you know, too, right now who is 
um, you know, maybe they're keeping their options open. They're not really making a commitment, but we'll see what that three of wands is about. But it definitely feels like this person sees happiness with you. They see the potential here. And bottom of the deck here, we do have the two of cups. So this is showing me that this person feels a very strong connection with you, a very strong soulmate connection. Okay, so we'll clarify, but let's get into the mutual energy. Let's see what the mutual energy is here between Taurus and this person. Please show Taurus. Let's get the mutual energy between Taurus and this person. <clears throat> Okay, well, I feel like um, <clears throat> it does feel you got Sagittarius energy here. It does feel like this is just, um, you know, a situation that may take a little bit of time. But I feel like this is someone, you know, I definitely see opportunity here. I see good uh, conversations, communication, could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Again, we got fire energy. So I feel like, we're going to clarify, we're going to see what that communication is all about. Um, there may be um, a conversation here between the two of you, what the potential is. But we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Six of Cups, could be dealing uh, with a fire or water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like this person um, has fond memories of you. I do feel like this person thinks about the good times. Like I said, I do feel like this person thinks about the future, the possibilities with you. Uh, you know, I do feel though their behavior with the Knight of Wands, maybe they're a bit inconsistent with you. Um, some of you, this could be somebody who has been in and out of your life, especially too with this to a pentacle. So there is an energy of, you know, some of you, it may be on and off because everybody's going to be in different phases of their love life. But I still see potential here. And I see a conversation, an upcoming conversation between you and this person. And it, it may be right? What, what is the potential here of this connection? Because it does feel like your person here has uh, been a bit, um, I don't know, wishy-washy <laughs> is the word here. So let's clarify and see where this is all going. We'll get some love oracles and then we'll um, see what the potential outcome is here of the situation. Some of you, I feel like this is more of a newer situation, but it can be somebody here to maybe, um, you know, somebody here from your past that you've been dealing with on and off. So let's clarify that two of pentacles here, please. Why is the two of pentacles here, please? Oh, okay, yeah. You feel, this is what I'm feeling here. You feel a bit of disappointment here, Taurus, is what I'm getting because I feel like this is someone who has been hiding their feelings for you, okay? I do feel like this person has feelings for you, but they haven't been showing it, okay? They've been avoiding it. <laughs> and I also feel like they could be avoiding, you know, conversation here around where things are going, commitment. Um, I also feel here too, um, yeah, the person that you are dealing with, there could also be some beliefs, okay? There could be some spiritual beliefs, uh, society beliefs, or something that this person, um, they may feel like they can't show you how they feel for some reason, okay? And this is also your energy. But I feel like this is someone, um, they haven't, you're not feeling stable here about this connection because this is someone who has avoided, I feel, showing you or talking with you about where things are going or how they feel is really what I'm truly getting. Let's see here why the high priestess is here, okay? So I feel like this is, you know, the unknown here. Now, it could be your intuition, but let's see here. Why is the high priestess here? Uh, the letters J or B may be important to you. Why is the high priestess here, please? Why is the high priestess here? Could be a person you're dealing with, a place. Okay. 
Oh, look at that. Look who's on the bottom of the deck again. We got the Queen of Swords twice now here in your reading here. Okay, let's see what this is about. Okay. Well, yeah, it does feel like you may be feeling like this person is being distant with you or aloof with you. Um, you know, feeling like this person has their walls up or they're not really being very expressive is the energy that I get here. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so I sense here that you may be feeling like this person isn't giving you a lot of attention, you know, whether it's romantic, whether it's just showing affection um, is the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, so I feel like, right, this is making you feel that you don't know how this person really truly feels about you is the energy that I'm getting there. Okay, so we'll get back to the... Um, Mutual energy. I want to see what this conversation will be about. I'm going to clarify. First, I'm going to clarify this Queen of Wands. What? Why is the Queen of Wands here? What action is this person going to take towards Taurus? What action is this person going to take towards Taurus? Or why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Okay, we'll clarify the Fool because it, it could also be about this person taking some sort of risk. Okay. Oh, look who we got on the bottom of the deck again. We have the Queen of Wands. Well, got Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or another Taurus. We got the Seven of Cups here, too. I feel like this person... Um, Sometimes the queen of wands, you know, I feel like this could be someone who has a bit of ego or a bit of pride. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy here. Okay. So I feel like this person, um, they, I feel like for whatever reason, they're questioning a lot of things. Now it could be somebody who has other options in their life or they don't know what they want. Um, I feel like too, they could be questioning the stability here. Um, between you and them, whether things could work out. But there also could be some fears here with the devil, ego, pride, okay? But I feel like with um, the Page of Cups, I feel like this person, the action that they're going to take, I do feel like they're going to be flirty with you. They're going to reach out to you. Um, so I do feel like, again, there's some sort of conversation that I feel is going to happen. But for whatever reason, your person is questioning a lot of things, and it could just be their fears, okay? Let's clarify this three of wands. Um, or why is the three of wands here, please? Why is the three of wands here, please? Okay. Interesting. Okay, look at that. We have three of wands on the bottom of the deck. I just want to see what's below. Okay. Yeah, the, for for some reason, this person is hesitant in love. Okay, and I may ask that question, why are they hesitant? Um, we have the seven of pentacles. We have the magician, the tower, and the world card. We got Aquarius, your energy, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Okay. This person's been doing a lot of thinking, okay? I feel like they're trying to think about what type of action to take. Like I said here with the three of wands, this is someone I feel who is thinking about the future. This could be someone who has other options or they're just single. Maybe they're dating. It's different for everybody. But they're really thinking about the future. And the next step, right, would be that four of wands. So I feel like you have some time invested with this person, Um you have here, I'm going to say here too, distance could be a factor that could also uh, be why here this person could be feeling like things are unstable here because distance is a factor between you and this person. Uh, it could be energetic distance, but I also feel for some of you, there may have been something that happened between the two of you. Again, as I said up here, I felt there was not a stable foundation between you and this person. Um, so... 
let's uh i want to clarify that tower why is the tower here please why is the tower here please okay all right yeah there's something here either this person needs to be honest with you about or i feel like there could be a situation where something um i feel i'm hearing like a misunderstanding or something happened between you and this person that caused uh kind of a blow up maybe an argument some of you a breakup um, but i feel like this is someone who's trying to find a solution um to try and fix things here let's see what we have here yeah ten of swords so um some of you it could have been an ending here in a relationship but this I'm just going to say this could also be somebody here playing the victim. So your person here could be playing the victim here in your situation. But I also feel here um, there is something unknown here, okay? Like I said, there may be something they need to be honest. They need to confess um, about something, okay? I think I, I said earlier I was going to say what is holding this person um, back, from taking the next step. What is holding this person back from taking the next step? Oh, Gemini energy there. Okay, interesting. I didn't expect this, Taurus. We have the Hermit here as well, Virgo energy. Well, this person's trying to do a lot of soul searching here. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Lovers, and we have the Page of Wands. I feel like we are dealing with somebody here. Either there is another lover involved, okay, another person, a third party situation, because your person does come across as someone who is single or they, they act like they're single. Um, what is holding them back? I'm just going to say this may be somebody who is just wanting things to be casual here. As I said, Ace of Wands is showing up again. I feel like there is going to be an upcoming conversation between this person. I felt here too, it's going to take some time, okay, to find the balance here in this connection, which is interesting here. So I feel like some of you, you know, definitely feels like a very strong uh, connection, a lot of chemistry, a lot of uh, attraction between you and this person. Um, but they're not quite sure if they're ready to take the next step. Let's see why the sun card is here. All right, because I feel like there is potential for happiness here, but it may just take time with this person. Why is the sun card here, please? Okay. Oh, the fool card show up. The two of cups showed up again and the wheel. All right. And the Four of Swords. Okay, either there's distance between the two of you or you're dealing with someone who is really trying to figure out where they're at, really what I'm getting, because you have the Five of Wands. This may be somebody who is struggling because I feel like this could be someone who is just wants to be carefree, wants to be single. They, um, I feel here too, there could be someone who likes their freedom, doesn't want to be tied down. Um, but I also get here too, there could be competition. There could be other people in the mix here, interesting enough. But look at this, the two of cups and the wheel of fortune. This is showing me that the two of you were fated to come together. Again, two of cups is showing up here in your reading again. So I feel like that could be why there's timing. Some of you could even be a twin flame here. I feel like the two of you, you know, it just feels here. You've got the two of pentacles and the knight of cups. Let's just uh, pull one more. Okay, you've got the temperance. You've got the two of pentacles, the knight of cups, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, I feel like there will be opportunity here for you and this person to find the balance again between the two of you to work towards something more stable. Um, but I also feel here like this is someone... For whatever reason, uh, there's some sort of timing here. So let's get to um, clarifying the uh, Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Because I feel that's a conversation. Oh, look who's there. The counterpart, the King of Swords. All right. 
Well, there is a conversation and I feel like it's going to be about where things are headed in this connection or this relationship right you could initiate this conversation or your person okay it's not really showing me clearly who's going to initiate the conversation could be a cancerian that you are dealing with you have the ten of cups and you have the six of swords i feel like once the two of you have a, a conversation i feel like it kind of leads you on the path to something really happy that the two of you kind of uh work things out right you talk it out you see where you're at um, you know, and Taurus, you may decide to move on too. you know, if this person isn't on the same page as you, but I do feel like this is a, a connection here. That's going to take some time. Okay. Let's clarify here. Uh, the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? King of Swords again, Hangman and the Emperor, strong Aries energy. Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Hangman. Yeah, the, hop, the opportunity I feel here arises when the two of you have a conversation. And I feel like this person is going to be open and honest with you about where they are um, in their life. Like I said, even if they're dating other people, I do feel like this person with that King of Swords is going to be open and honest about it. You have the two of wands here, you have the page of pentacles and you have the hangman. Okay. I feel like too, through this conversation, it's going to open up opportunity. So you know where you stand with this person. I feel like too, I feel like it could definitely, um, you could get a message here from this person and that's going to give you the opportunity, I feel here, for the two of you to have the conversation, two of wands and the hangman, okay? So I sense here, Taurus, that this person, okay, they have an intention, I feel, to come towards you, to send you some sort of communication here. I'm going to clarify um, that hangman. Why is the hangman here, please? Okay, we got the emperor and the five of swords. Bottom of the deck here, we have the king of pentacles. Now, it could be, some of you, there could have been a past situation, even a third party situation some sort of conflict here, or you could be dealing with someone who <clears throat> could be delaying things. I'm just going to be honest here. Could be dealing with someone who could be delaying things because this person has other opportunities. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's, um, so in a nutshell so far, Taurus, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to take a glass of water here. In a nutshell, I feel like this person right now is not in committal energy, um, but I do feel like they are thinking about it. It may take time, some more time. Oh my gosh. We got gossip just pop, popped up here. So I don't know if there's um, some drama around you and this person as well, but um in the extended, we will see more what uh, where things go with this person. But I'm going to pull a card here for your energy. Oh, boy. Twin Flame. Okay. Twin Flame's been popping out a lot lately. Okay. So, you know, that definitely goes here. I said this could be Twin Flame here, too. With um, It may be you and this person may not be in align alignment. Okay. And this person may have some karma that they um, need to deal with before they're ready. That's why I'm seeing the timing. Let's look in your person's energy. Oh boy, <clears throat> new love. Yeah, they have other, I feel like this person has other opportunities. Let's look in the mutual energy. Okay, we got the wallflower. Okay, so this is energy here where right now, because I feel of the two of you not being in alignment, 
meaning you are in a place in your life where you see relationship or you're ready and somebody else isn't here. Now, roles can be reversed. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Open relationship. That's what I feel here. This person is treating this like an open relationship or just casual right now. Yeah, and they may be a dating queen, okay, whether it's a guy or a girl, all right, so this could be someone who is um, also could be a player type. So let's see what the potential is here, uh, Taurus, and then I'm going to take it to the extended. What's the potential here in the situation between Taurus and this person? So I feel like the conversation definitely uh, could change everything here between you and this person. Lovers showing up, Gemini energy again. Scorpio energy. Wow. We also have Leo energy here with the strength card. Okay. It does feel like there is some separation or distance between you and this person. Um, I do feel like this person is really thinking about the connection between you and them. They do feel a strong chemistry. They may not understand it at this point, but I feel like this is somebody I feel who came into your life and they kind of left that that mark on your heart here and you with them because they're still thinking about you. They're still energetically showing up in your energy. Now, what's lacking here in the situation is the communication, okay? This person or someone here is keeping things casual. And like I said, I do feel like there is going to be an upcoming conversation between you and this person. You have the death rebirth card here and the nine of cups. So I do feel like you and this person are going through a change here I feel um, upcoming because I do see here we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the opportunity is going to present itself for you both here. There is an opportunity for you and this person to build something for the long term. Um, it does feel like a slow and steady energy between you and this person. Okay, so I feel like Taurus... Um, again, you know, like I said, there is timing here. Things may feel um, a bit unstable right now. But again, look at that. You had the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups here. Look at that. The Knight of Cups there and the Ace of Pentacles. And here it is again, upcoming here. Okay, where did it go? Oh, here it is. You have it again, okay, two times in your reading. So they're telling me this instability right there it's a timing issue right now the two of you aren't in alignment but it does show the potential here for long term okay it's just going to take time and some of you may not want to wait and i would always say don't wait for someone right don't wait for someone you can um you know do your thing go you know you could be the dating queen there as well. So I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how it plays out over the next three to four weeks. See if the energy changes. And we'll see if new love is there as well. Uh, and we'll check out your future love too. So I hope to see you there, Taurus. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.